Well, my name is Dean Byrne. I'm president and vice chairman of Winhine Energy Group, based here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Winhine uh, was formed in June of 2012, um, and we are now the parent company of Lancaster Wind Systems, based in Nisku, Alberta, Canada, and they have been our R&D company for the last eight and a half years, uh, developing our hydraulic wind turbine and our compressed nitrogen storage system. This process, um, you know, to develop this process, you know, we kind of studied the wind industry and, de and determined, you know, some of the key issues in the industry and high maintenance gearboxes was something that really uh, jumped out at us. So we set out to develop a turbine with uh, a little simpler operation and a higher reliability factor. So what our technology involves is we no longer have a generator or a gearbox in the nacelle. That has all been replaced by two um, high volume hydraulic pumps. Uh, these, these are off the shelf items that were being used in the oil and gas uh, offshore drilling process right now. And we've used that to, um, we use that hydraulic pressure that's generated in the nacelle. Uh, we bring that to the ground and if there's a demand for electricity, then we use that hydraulics to spin the generator and produce electricity. The housing at the very top of, of the wind tower itself and then the hub and blades attached to the very center of that. So it's, it is the large housing that you see at the top of, of every wind turbine. So you, your new process would use the same infrastructure uh, and, but replace the, the generator with hydraulic pumps? Correct. We're, our technology is currently <clears throat> uh, retrofit technology. Uh, we, are not, we do not produce a new turbine of our own. Um, what we would do is take end of life uh, turbines, maybe uh, you know, multiple gearbox failures uh, or, or wind turbines that the owner has decided I want to take down some smaller uh, 750 kW wind turbines to replace them with much larger to repower their their wind farm. Those are exactly the kind of wind turbines we're looking to purchase. Retrofit them, you know, check the do a complete quality control check on the blades, the towers, the you know, recertify everything. Install our technology and then put those uh, wind turbines back into service. As a result of our presentation at your meeting in Jackson Hole, uh, we, we did have an introductory conversation with GE and we're following that up with some conference calls here um, you know, in, in the next few weeks here. We have two technologies that we've developed. The first is the hydraulic turbine that I just described. The second is a compressed nitrogen energy storage system that was designed to work in conjunction with our hydraulic turbine, but can also um, be coupled with any type of power generation, uh, coal, nuclear, solar, uh, any type of energy gener generation can be tied in with our system. Um, the way it works with our hydraulic system is when we bring our hydraulic pressure to the, to the ground, if it's the middle of the night uh, and there's no demand for electricity, instead of using our hydraulic pressure to turn electrical generators, we run that hydraulic pressure through some patented devices that we have developed, which converts the hydraulic pressure, uh, there, and, and what they are is they're a large diameter, long stroke, but slow moving compression device. So we convert the hydraulic pressure into compressed nitrogen, which we store in a pipeline system. Uh, when the demand for electricity increases and we decide to bring uh, to produce power out of our storage system, we bring the compressed nitrogen back at a very controlled rate and we just reverse the process. Now our nitrogen moves the compression devices which regenerates hydraulic pressure and then we turn the generators. So uh, we're currently, our, our system is still, we're, we're tweaking a few things on that storage system yet. Um, we've demonstrated with a small shop model that we can recover about 65% of our energy. Uh, we expect to get uh, in the low to mid 80s with that when we have it completely developed. We, we have one functional turbine in NISQ that we've been doing all of our testing on and it, 
you know, it, it really shows what we're, what we're really able to do with this hydraulic turbine is generate a lot more power at, at lower wind speeds. So, um, <clears throat> you know, a traditional wind turbine that needs, uh, you know, uh, maybe a seven to 10 meter second uh, wind speeds in order to, to start running, uh, we'll start producing power as low as two meter seconds of wind speed because we offer virtually no resistance to turning. The hydraulic pumps are a radial piston design and they just, they, they move much easier than the big gearbox that the traditional turbine has. So we're producing substantially more electricity uh, throughout the entire power curve, but especially at the lower wind speeds. Well, this, this technology was originally developed in Nisku, Alberta, Canada, just south of Edmonton. And all of our work for the first eight years was in conjunction with the University of Alberta. Um, like I say, Winhine was formed here in the States in June of last year. Um, and we received an invitation to the, to the National Renewable Energy Labs Industry Growth Forum, where we did a presentation on this, um, on this technology. And we're continuing to work with NREL um, on getting their certification on our power curve as well. This technology was actually first, the idea was first conceived when uh, David McConnell, who is the CEO and chairman of this company, uh, Dave spent 35 years working uh, for ExxonMobil. Uh, and a lot of that work was on offshore drilling and production platforms. So this idea of of capturing energy off of a rotating shaft with a hydraulic pump was first really thought of um, for use on offshore platforms and attaching this pump to the main shaft of the draw works. So it really, you know, it really had its infancy in the, in the offshore drilling business, but the wind industry uh, also was a very attractive um, energy sector and Dave continued to move into that and then that, that was the com combination of those two is where the energy storage system came into play.